Today's Retro Spot, we're having a look at the Toy Biz Marvel Superheroes, The Punisher. Includes cap-firing weapons. This comes with, again from the folks over at Toy Biz. Following suit in their Marvel Superheroes fashion, uh, The Punisher is packaged on this really nice black and white card, um, which I think actually on the back of the, each card, the black and white section, I think are always specific to the characters. So that is actually a Punisher comic strip behind this really nice colored image of the Punisher. Uh, Punisher is one of those strange birds, those strange superheroes that are marketed as a toy to children. I mean, really, he's a gun-wielding uh, vigilante, but it is what it is. Uh, on the back of the package, Marvel superheroes collect them all. You can also get Silver Surfer, the Incredible Hulk, the Amazing Spider-Man, the Punisher, Daredevil, Doctor Doom, Captain America, Doctor Octopus, followed by a training center, the Captain America Turbo Coop, and the Spider-Man Dragster. Your read-up, by the way, says the Punisher has an explosive arsenal designed to bring any criminal to justice. To load his weapon, first rub off the glue on the back of the first cap, then thread the caps carefully through the bottom of the Punisher's backpack. With the cap's heads facing out, advance them into a position by raising and lowering the trigger on his back. Next, select from his arsenal his bazooka, Uzi, pistol, or sniper rifle, and put it in his hand. Aim and release the trigger. These were also figures that back in the day, you could get away with having cap-firing accessories, ca uh, cops, was another one that had cap firing accessories. Probably don't get stuff like this nowadays. If you do, you're likely going into something like a dollar store and you're finding cap firing things. Cap things, huge back in the 80s. And uh, I guess parents just didn't like them. They just realized they weren't good for kids. Let's just uh, take them completely off the market. Oh, Robocop also. Robocop also had cap firing uh, weapons. Set your time machine to 1990. That's when this Punisher figure would have been created or at least sold in stores. What I am going to do is take a break, get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Marvel Superheroes Punisher. There's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Having a look at the Punisher. First, let me just say, the one thing you would think should come with this guy doesn't come with this guy. Any Anyone want to guess? Anybody want to throw it? Any guesses? If anybody said caps, the one thing that they're marketing this piece as, having, he doesn't have any caps. He has absolutely no caps included with this figure. I don't know why. It's one of the only times that I've ever seen a cap-firing uh, toy not actually include the caps that he's supposed to come with. Um, the back section right here, you basically just take your thumbs and pop it up, and then this swings out. The caps, if you had them, would feed right through here, and I believe right out the bottom here. And this would trigger, would, would actually pop those little caps. But he doesn't come with any. He comes with absolutely no caps whatsoever. I find that com completely ridiculous. That's like going into a restaurant and buying a hamburger, and then the waitress bringing it out, and you open up the bun, and it's like, hey, where, where's the patty? Oh, no, we sell the patty separately. But you're, you're marketing it as a hamburger. Yes, but we can't really include meat. It's something that you have to... No, you know what? In fact, you have to provide your own meat. You have to bring your, you have to bring your own hamburgers in, and then we just kind of give you the bun. That's essentially what you're getting here. I kind of feel like I got ripped off. Not ripped off because I, obviously I can't go back and say hey toy biz what's going on with punisher toy biz isn't around anymore but i feel like uh kind of misled the packaging indicates cap firing pieces and he doesn't come with any caps despite that he's still a pretty good looking figure for what you would expect with an 80s piece i mean he's very simple and he's I mean, really, by the nature of Punisher, he is simple anyways. He's just an all-black outfit costume superhero with the whites on his gloves, the whites on his boots, and the skull emblem here. It's just a real shame he doesn't come with any sort of caps. 
I always found that Punisher's face, at least in Toy Biz form, kind of always reminded me of the Superman figure from the Kenner uh, Superpowers line. It, I just that's that's me. I always just kind of thought that they had a very similar looking face. Um, his articulation, though, uh, his head does rotate left and right. Arms rotate all the way around, and legs go forward, back, and you, as you can see, a bend in the knee. But no cap, caps whatsoever. He does have, though, one closed fist. He does have one square peg in his other hand, because you can take these supplied weapons and just peg them into his hand. Uh, surprised, really, that they just didn't give him an open hand, like just something that looks like this. And then you could kind of just clamp the weapons into his hand. Also, more importantly, I'm surprised that they didn't give you two open hands so that he can wield two weapons. He has four weapons, but he only has one hand you can put them into. And also, let me just also add, look at the size of the peg on the, on the rifle here. And look at the size of the peg hole on his hand. Yeah, it does. It does, doesn't it? It looks a little wider in the handle than it does in the opening of his hand. All right, let's try another one. Now this one looks like it's gonna fit. This one fits fine. This one definitely looks like, let's compare the two here. Come on, Spot, just drop the topic. Look at the size, look how wide one peg is versus the other. This is never gonna fit unless you really force it in there. But he does fit the Uzi. And let's try the other one. He's got Tommy gun. That works, that fits as well. And finally, he also has a pistol. Let's try that. That fits, it's a little looser than the others, but it does fit still. Uh, so really, kind of feel like this could be an epic fail. It's it's a, a Punisher figure, yes. It has caps that don't come included with the piece. He comes with weapons that really can only be held in one hand. And on top of that, one of the weapons doesn't even fit into his hand. He's not a bad figure, but my only guess is maybe Toy Biz produced him near the end of maybe cap pieces, or maybe they decided, oh, you know what? We'll produce the means to fire the caps, but we just won't give the kids the caps. And that's that's our way of at least feeling like we're not being part of the child's use of firearms and other things that are dangerous for them. The figure is on a, on his own. Uh, I'm going to give him I'm going to give him a six point five. I just feel a little disappointed by you, Punisher, that you didn't have the one thing that I was looking forward to you having. You didn't have your caps. Today's retro spot, that's a bit of a shame. Way to damper our day spot. Today we're having a look though at the Toy Biz Marvel Superheroes The Punisher. Stay tuned guys, spot's gonna have more retro spots on your way. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.